Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to solve some differential equation when we have this x is equals to sin or cos. We have already discussed this case of pi in earlier lectures. Here we are going to focus on case of failure when we have this type of function. So let's start. Here we have this given differential equation. Now we can find its C up by taking this auxiliary equation. So here we have yes, we got these roots which are complex, right? So now we can find C up. So what is C up? This is the roots. Yes, this is the C up. Now we have to find pi pi is given by this formula we have to put the value of f of d f of d is this d square plus 1 and x is here sin x yes now we know that when we have x is of this type we here we have to put this is d square is equals to minus a square a is the coefficient of this x here so a is here 1 so we have this minus a square this is minus 1 right so yes we can check that here when we put d square is equals to this minus 1 this denominator gets 0 that means that case get fails right at that time what we have to do yes we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this denominator so we here we have this is twice d and this sin x as it is right what we have done here yes here when we put d square is equals to this minus a square that means when we put d square is equals to this minus 1 this denominator gets 0 so at that time we we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this f of d now yes we know that this 1 upon d, yes, what is this 1 upon d? This is the integration with respect to x. So, yes, sin x integration, this is minus cos of x, right? So, this is the pi. So, yes, we can write its solution. This is C a plus pi. So, yes, here we have find solution for this given differential equation now let's have a look on next example yes now we can find cf for cf we have to write down auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is obtained by putting this f of d is equals to 0 so yes we have find values of d these are the roots of given auxiliary equation yes now we can check that these roots are complex and distinct yes now here we have the four roots yes so we have to write c of yes again here alpha is equals to 0 beta is equals to 2 and here same alpha 0 and beta is equals to 1 yes here we have to compare this roots is with alpha plus minus i beta yes so yes we can write c of for this pair we will write down c of this is e raised to 0 x c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sine of 2x and again for this one yes we can take next constant c3 and c4 c3 cos of x plus c4 sine of x yes this is the cf yes here we can check that this differential equation is of fourth order that means here we will have four constant okay now next we have to find pi so what is pi yes 
we have to put the value of f of d here and x is this is cos of 2x plus 3 right so yes now we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this right so yes now here we have to check that here we have this is cos of 2x plus 3 that means we have to put this d square is equals to minus a square what is this a is here a is the coefficient of x right and this is here 2 so a square is here this 4 and minus a square is minus 4 now we can check that here when we put d square is equals to minus 4 this get 0 right so what will we do here first we will put d square is equals to minus a square in this factor so that this denominator does not get 0 right so yes we, will, we can write here this is put d square is equals to yes this is minus a square in those factor which do not vanish that means which doesn't get 0 okay so yes so we will keep this factor as it is yes when we put d square is equals to minus a square so here we will have this is minus 4 plus 1 and this cos of 2x plus 3 as it is yes now yes on simplification we can take this is outside and this is now yes now we have to put d square is equals to minus a square in this factor yes now we can check that this denominator gets 0 that means that get that case get fails right so at that time we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this f of d so here we will have this is twice d and this is cos of 2x plus 3 as it is okay so here we have yes this is 1 upon d this is the integration right so what is the integration of this cos yes we know that this is sine of 2x plus 3 and coefficient of this x this is here 2 so on simplification we got this one yes this is the pi so at last we have to write complete solution so yes in this way we have find solution for this given differential equation now again next year we have this differential equation yes we will find cf here yes this is we have find cf this is our auxiliary equation yes now we have to find pi we have to put the value of this f of d and this x here x is here sine 2x into cos of x yes yes here we can check that here we have product of sine 2x and cos of x and our pi rule is only for sine or cos that means we have to write down this product in sum or difference so that we can apply pi rule yes here we can write down this sine 2x into cos of x by the formula yes here we have yes we know that we have this formula when we have sine a into cos of b here we have this is yes with this formula yes we can write this sine 2x into cos of x in sum or difference right so here we will have this is yes here we will have sine 3x and this is sine of x yes we have changed product of this two in sum of this sign yes so now we can write yes now we can 
apply this one upon f of d yes we have to apply this f of d separately on this one yes now we can check that here we have to put this d square is equals to minus a square and this is here yes in both of this here we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this one and this f of d on this sin x right first we will operate this 1 upon f of d on this one right so for this one a is equals to 3 so minus a square is equals to minus 9 so yes when we put this is minus 9 here this denominator gets 0 so that means that case get fail and at that time we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this denominator right yes and similarly here we have to put d square is equals to minus a square and now a is here 1 so minus a square is here minus 1 right so yes so we got this one yes now 1 upon d this is the integration of this sine and sine integration this is minus cos of 3x by 3 yes and simplification of this one here we have this is yes now we have to simplify this is so in this way we have find pi and now we can write solution c a plus pi so in this way we have find solution for given differential equation yes right yes here we have to remember that we have to write down this product of sine or cos in sum or difference of sine or cos by using this defactorization formulas so that we can apply pi rule because pi rule is only for sine or cos so yes in this way we have discussed here case of failure when we have x sine or cos so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching